I call him half man, half amazing. It was his cannon and he was going to shoot it. Being on the floor with him, it was like, man, I'm safe. He wanted to win so bad that he wouldn't let none of us mess up. When somebody wasn't pulling their weight, he would find a way to get the best out of them. I feel we just um, need to come closer as a team, and they play harder than us, and they show that they wanted more than us. He tried to make everybody else better around him. That's what great players do. He pushed himself. Everybody else pushed him, too. He was number one. Violence here is, is different in other places. It's hard to shake. I would have never thought in a million years that we would have been on that street at that time of the night, and that would have happened. We just could not believe that he was gone. It was sad. It was so sad, you know. And it happened on, you know, when you're going to see your mom some other day. You know how people say, like, your best friend? And everybody say that was his best friend? That was my best friend. This story right here is a great story to help the younger generation. Before Ryan, there was someone before him. And before him, there was someone before him. And you ask yourself, when will it all end? I go to just about every murder in Baton Rouge. And when I go, I just don't see, I don't see anyone saying this, that we had enough. Ryan Francis, his legacy will live on because he didn't live for just himself. I believe he lived for others. And that's why his name still is being carried on.